hey guys welcome back to ask hr with etonam your channel for authentic hr content i'm excited about today's video because i'm so convinced it's going to really really help someone out there now have you found yourself in a situation where you applied for job after job after job and no one is calling you or you've actually gotten calls attended interviews and you never hear from them it happened once twice three times four times and you feel like i can't do this anymore it's just enough i know people like that i have had a couple of rejection emails and there are some people who just give up i mean i can't do this anymore and some even go into depression because of that today's video is for you if you are that person or if you know someone who is facing a similar situation you'll be a great help to that person by sharing this video so let's dive right in i've always said that interviews are a two-way street a company is looking for something you're also looking to offer something and so when a conversation is hard which is usually the interview if they can't ascertain a match then you most likely won't be called back there are some people who care to do the right thing by informing applicants there are people who still haven't learned the lesson yet so you just don't hear from them at all the first tip i want to share with you is this anytime you get a rejection email or a rejection call however it comes i want you to remember this that you're not in it alone you know sometimes when something terrible happens to you you put yourself through so much stress because you think that oh then i'm a failure how can i be going through this cycle so many times the truth of the matter is that there are hundreds and thousands of other people out there who have received rejection emails upon rejection email and are still pushing through so that's the first thing that this situation is not unique to you it's just part of the job process sometimes and you need to be able to beat it to land the job or that opportunity you are looking for so the first thing you need to remember is this that i'm not alone in this that helps you to put the situation in perspective so that you'll be able to push yourself forward tip number two show gratitude and accept the information gracefully now this is what i mean by that i have interviewed a lot of people now let me give you two scenarios there's this person that i interviewed before and i mean she was great she could have gotten the position but someone else was a closer match to what i was looking for and so i sent her um a rejection email and then she responded you know her response was just amazing she wanted to know how she fed was there anything in particular the other person had you know questions like that beyond the thank you email she sent she was interested in the conversation because she understood that the job search process can be a journey and you're not looking to make enemies along the way you're looking to make friends and connections and networks as you go along okay so she called followed up that email with a call to understand why didn't I land this position so that in her next position she can do better so it's always important to accept the situation with gratitude and with grace now this is what happened the person who actually got the job two weeks down the line tendered in a resignation and said I just um, got a scholarship to school and i won't take the opportunity and because that connection or that network had been created it was so easy to go back to her to find out if she was available and she was and so in a matter of weeks she got the same job for which she, she received a rejection email so that's tip number two 
don't just ignore if a company was gracious enough to send you uh, a rejection email be gracious enough to just respond say thank you and probably just leave it there if you're not interested in finding you know other things as far as the rule is is concerned don't ignore unless sometimes some of the companies they'll say it's a no reply email if it's a no reply email then that's it but if you've gone for first second or maybe third interviews and so you've created some connection with the people even though you didn't get the job it's just great to respond to their rejection email so that they can always come back to you later or you can go back to them later tip number three instead of beating yourself up you know you go for this interview and they tell you we'll get back to you in a week and you are there two weeks they never get back to you and you are just home just beating yourself up hey it's happened again the people didn't get back to me why am i a failure what did i do instead of putting yourself under that mental stress and pressure just call and ask for feedback you never know that may be your opening for another opportunity you probably didn't apply for or making a friend because trust me you need those connections as you develop in your career so instead of putting yourself through stress find out what didn't i do right and most people will be honest enough to give you feedback that will help you in your next step tip number four if you are striking out every time then it's probably time to do some self-analysis just sit back at least after your faith rejection email don't just sit around and complain and gripe just sit back and do some self-analysis what am i not doing right how does my cv even look like for those who are not called or contacted at all for those who have been called and interviewed a couple of times why why are they not calling me back why am i always getting rejected what is my tone like in the interview am i interviewing or applying for jobs that are outside of my core competencies what is my social media footprint for instance so there's this serious job you've gone there you really presented yourself in a very excellent manner and these people will definitely do a background check on you i've said that in earlier videos and so they go and your social media footprint is just a mess so you sit back and do self-analysis instead of spending the time to talk yourself down or beat yourself up about how i didn't get the job yet again so instead of beating yourself up analyze yourself what am i not doing right or there are some people after rejection after rejection they become bitter and so in an interview unawares they express that bitterness you know bad mouthing their previous employer and stuff like that you know people just don't want to hang around toxic people so there you have it do some self-analysis tip number five make adjustments after so you don't just analyze yourself and you clearly see that my social media is not speaking well at all my tone in the interview room is just awful decide to make adjustments i've shared so many videos about what to expect in an interview and how to carry out things these are not things you just hear once and then you are good to go even me today when i have an interview i go back to watch videos i go back to find out how should i carry myself it's 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 not just automatic you need to refresh your memory so these videos can help you make adjustments to your tone how should i sound my linkedin my social media how should i curate it so that i'll be a perfect match for the next job i'm looking for my next step is for you to manage your expectations now the job search process can be a complex one especially if you are not looking to settle for anything that comes your way you know 
who you are what you have what you can offer so you are looking for a particular place to bring those skills to bear it may take some time it may but every opportunity you get should just help you polish yourself for the next one so you received a rejection from a prominent company what happens is that i mentioned before that out of hundreds of cvs only six people will be called for the interview and only one will get the job so if you've been called for an interview it means that you beat hundreds of people already so instead of condemning yourself and talking yourself down manage your expectations in that celebrate your victories at least you got an interview not once not twice not three times you're just honing yourself becoming more familiar and comfortable with so what are you going to do you didn't get the job so what the world has come to an end it shouldn't be the case learn to manage your expectations and celebrate your victory as you go along knowing that that dream job is definitely going to come the next step is keep a running list of your good qualities you are great you are awesome you are good at what you do that's why they've even called you the number of times they have you probably weren't the particular fit they were looking for or who knows maybe they advertised internally and they found someone internal who wanted the job and was a great fit or they probably put the whole recruitment process on hold so instead of talking yourself down again keep a running list of your good qualities because sometimes by the time you received your seventh rejection email you might not have a great image of yourself anymore so you need to keep a running list of who you are what you can do the things you know you are good at and keep looking at them and convincing yourself that you are good at this the fact that you, you've been rejected a number of times doesn't say anything about your competence so long as you are honing that skill time and time again so there you have it i hope this video helps you to you know keep pushing and keep going because trust me you're already in a comfortable lead you have no idea how many people hate their jobs they dread going there in fact if they had another opportunity that business will never see their face again but for some reason because they have to put food on the table and things like that they just keep going so you are even in a great place looking for that place that will really help you to express yourself if you like this video i want you to share your comments with me like it subscribe and share with others thank you so much and see you in my next video